All right, now I know business has been a bit slow lately. Yes, it's no one's fault, okay? I'm not naming any names here, Moxie. Now, does anyone have any bright ideas on how we can get business drumming up again? What about a car wash? This is hell, Millie. No one cares about cars being clean here, okay? Whoa, what about a billboard? We can't afford a billboard, sir. Helpful, Moxie. Really glad you're in the room right now. Have you guys forgotten what service we provide? Good times. I don't need any reminding, sir, considering you blew most of our salaries on an obnoxious TV ad last week. One that you then additionally paid to have run for a full three hours on a channel nobody watches. Uh, hey, excuse me. What's obnoxious about a super fun jingle, all right? It's a fun distraction when an advertisement's spitting bullshit. People love musicals, sir. Exactly, Millie. And we're basically doing a musical. Are you gonna crush my musical theater dreams like my dad did? Sir. Because right now, all I see is just my dad's asshole talking to me, crushing my dreams of being who I truly am inside. Are you trying to crush his dreams, Moxie? I... what? I thought I knew you. I can't believe you, Moxie, after I made you employee of the month. Okay, sir. I'm sorry. A commercial jingle is not comparable to musical theater. Nobody actually likes the jingles. I liked it. Do not, do not agree with him in front of me. Hi there, I'm Blitz. The O is silent, and I am the founder of IMP. Are you a piece of shit who got yourself sent to hell, or are you an innocent soul who got fucked over by someone else? After lovingly killing my wife for fucking a delivery man, you can imagine my surprise when I wound up here, after the state of Ohio killed me. I really wish I could stick it to that yappy jogger who saw me hiding the body. Well, luckily for you, thanks to our company's special access to the living world, we can help you take care of your unfinished business by taking out anyone who screwed you over when you were alive. When you want somebody gone and you don't want to wait too long, call the immediate murder professionals. And grenade or cyanide will make it look like suicide. The immediate murder professionals. We do our job so well because we come straight up from hell. We'll kill your husband or your wife, we'll even let you keep the knife for the immediate murder profession. Doctor, he's not responding! Oh, what a stat! It didn't do anything! Damn it! I'm not losing another one! Clear! <laughs> Holy shit, it actually worked! He appears to be in stable condition, but he'll need surgery. Now, what insurance provider do you freaks have? The fuck is insurance? <laughs> Kids die for free! I'd like to go on record and say that incident was Luna's fault. Dispatch is supposed to give us the right info on the target. It's very simple. Oh, sit on a dick, Moxie. You sit! Sit on a... and the... D do your job! Hey, now we don't blame our screw-ups on Luna, okay? She didn't do anything wrong. Are you kidding me, sir? She's awful. Hello, INP. Luna, I got stabbed. Go look! Happy adoption anniversary, Looney. I got you a little something. Is it a cure for syphilis? I... Oh. Then I don't want it! I'm sorry, the spiders! God damn it. Um, e excuse me. Did you just fax me an ad for weight loss? No. What? Why, why would anyone send me this? Come on. You know why. Oh! <laughs> I left the fucking avocado salad in the fridge. I'm taking it because I have the worst hangover right now. Why would you drink on a work night? I'm hungover from this morning, dumbass. Isn't that my lunch? You know what? I can't take this assault right now. I need to blow off some fucking steam. Ah! <laughs> Blitz, that clingy rich asshole is on the phone, says it's urgent, wants to talk to you. He sounds a little DTF-y. Oh God, it was one time! If I hadn't slept with that privileged asshole, none of us would have access to the living world. You what? Buck, got the buck, got this fucking heavy buck.
Oh, oh shit! <laughs> Sorry, I fucked your husband. Let! I heard you already! So, oh, what can I do you for this time, Stolas? There's a political candidate causing trouble up on Earth for a few of my associates. He's trying to convince people global warming exists. Doesn't it? Well, yes, but more people die if nothing is done about it. And it gets lonely here. <laughs> Okay, well, yeah, that makes sense. You know what happens when I'm lonely, Blitzy? Oh, God fucking damn it. When I'm lonely, I become hungry. And when I become hungry, I want to choke on that red <laughs> of yours. <laughs> your sad and lick all of your <laughs> before taking out your <laughs> and <laughs> with more teeth until you're screaming <laughs> like a fucking baby. <gasps> Eat this. And then you know that bridge over the freeway? Yeah? Shit off it. Look, the point is, Luna is a valued member of our family, and we don't get rid of family. We aren't a family, sir. You are the boss. We are the employees. You treat her like she's some troubled teenager. She's more like a meth-addicted homeless woman you let man the phones. That is offensive. Without homeless people, I wouldn't have half the joy and laughter I do in this life. While we are on the subject of family, can you stop finding me and Millie outside of work? Come on, sweetie, it's not that big a deal. Excuse me. What? Honey, can you get me the butter? Sir, sweetie. Spoiler alert, the butter's spoiled. <laughs> What's funny, honey? Really impressive wordplay. What the? Why are you in our fridge? What you dreaming about? I was dreaming my parents were being murdered. But now, I'd like to go back to that. Of all the is in hell, it's for him that I fell. Oh, Millie. Are you fucking filming us right now? Just stop doing that. I don't see what the issue is. Is there something you don't want me seeing? No. You a baby wiener haver? Sir, what you say and how you act is totally inappropriate! Calm down, Mox. You're gonna have another panic attack! I am calm! There, there. Look, I don't judge the boring couple stuff you do outside of work hours, so don't judge me. Oh, I do judge you, sir. Quite a lot, actually. Mox, he's our boss! No, 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 it's fine, Mills. Your husband is just... How do I say this without being offensive? Does immaturely insulting me make you feel better about your sad, single life? It actually does. The only reason you have a wife is because you're easy to manage. No, he's not, you bitch! Do not talk to my receptionist that way. She's sensitive. Yes, I am! You guys are all fucking assholes. Oh, shut up, kid. You're lucky to witness this. Ugh, this company is such a mess. All right, let's get back to talking about my outfit. Nobody was talking about that. Which is why I'm trying to get that ball rolling. So how does it look? It's good, right? It's been a literal hell having to pretend to be paralyzed so you fuck shits wouldn't kill me. But now I want that. I want death. You are a selfish, greedy clown. And I'm a kid. We're supposed to like clowns. Even the creepy ones. Hey now, that's not very... If I wanted to hear from a spineless jackass, I'd rip out your spine and ask you some shit. That's my husband you're talking to! <laughs> that's your husband? I figured you for a slut, but I didn't know you needed dick that bad. And you! What? What about me? Nothing. I don't talk to dogs. I'm a cat person. Wow. Oh, you know, kid, you kind of are a piece of shit. Yeah, yeah I... he is good. Yeah. Piece of shit. Oh, fuck. Guys, I just got a text from our client. Guess he was the right target after all. Who? Him. Me? Yep. They wanted us to kill an actual child. That's what they're saying. Well, Christ on a stick, I guess there is a god. Ow!